Oh, we're supposed to go right. Oh, okay. There's a giant Don Quixote. It's enormous. Okay, we're going right. We're hunting for street food and a temple. And a bathroom. Sensoji Bad fortune. Oh, they have things. They have like incense in their hands. Mm. So much food. Set up for the haul. I feel like there's more. There's more. Oh my God. All right. We put everything all together for the first time and realized how much we bought. So I'm gonna show you a little Tokyo haul. Uh, I'll start with what's closest to me. So we did all of this shopping today at 7-Eleven. We got. 
What is this? <laughs> no, they look cute. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? <laughs> this is a strawberry shortcake. They look delicious. I think they look like, yeah, they look like that. So, I don't even know when we're going to eat it. Maybe when we get home? Or are we going to eat it tonight? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. We got that. I chose, uh, it says baked chocolates. And they feel like little brownie bites. So, and they're 7-Eleven brand here. No. You want me to leave them here? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this one is a butterscotch bread thing. I'm, I assume it's filled with butterscotch. <clears throat> and then he's obsessed. Don't don't use sound. I'm not. Okay. He's obsessed with these cookies and cream chocolate bites. So we bought four more for the road, for the plane. Hopefully they make it home before he eats it all. And then these are always recommended when people travel to Japan and they go to 7-Eleven. So I got the salmon um, onigiri, right? I'm so bad. I'm pretty sure it's onigiri. Okay, any more food? I think that's it for the food. Next is a mix of gifts and stuff for us. We'll move that to the side. So, we'll start with this scroll that he picked out. It's a cat holding a fish. It's cute. We got it in um, Asakusa. Asakusa, yeah. By the Sensoji Shrine or Temple. Um, what else did I get at the temple? I got this. This is a, I'm not going to take it out of the box, but it's a little red lantern. Um, I don't know where to put it. Probably in our bedroom. <laughs> Two umbrellas because it rained all week, so we had to buy them from, I think, 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven's our favorite place here. We got these cute socks from Harajuku. It's a strawberry milk on the bottom, and this, uh, picture. I don't think it's embroidered. No, it's like printed. Of strawberry milk. So this is the these socks are for Diana. Next I got these or this coin purse with Shiba's on it. I got it in Asakusa today too. <clears throat> okay, let me organize. These go over here. So I was on my period this week and I forgot pads one day when we went to Harajuku. So I bought this whole pack. Uh, I had no idea what it said. So it's like a awkward size too. But that was part of the haul because I bought it. And let's go to these shirts because these were also in Harajuku. He bought this one of a lucky cat. Um, looks like it says... A few things. Fortune Cat is decorated at houses and stores to invite good luck and more customers. Maneki Neko. I think he bought that for himself. Is this yours or your mom's? No. <laughs> okay. No, oh my god. <laughs> okay, and then he also got this one. It's just of. Uh, Harajuku on Takeshita Street, Takeshita Dori, which is the street that we bought this on, which is one of my favorite streets, I think. I think I love Harajuku the most so far. We also got this Pornhub hentai shirt for Bobo in black. You're welcome, Bobo. This is pretty cool, honestly. Mm -hmm. I like it. I wouldn't wear it but I like it. And then for Adam, he got this Tokyo City Coca-Cola looking shirt. It looks really cool. One of those, um, it's like those shirts that mimic brands, but they have, like, they use puns. But that, that's not a pun, but it looks like Coca-Cola. This one's a pun. This one is Tokyo Story instead of Toy Story. And this one's mine. Also from Harajuku. I think we got all of our shirts in Harajuku. So there's the shirt haul. I think that's it for clothes. For us, at least. 
because over here we got doggy bandanas. They're so cute. They're in this um, material that's for like kimonos, I think. And we got two because one is for our baby and the other one is for Zuzu. So they can match the little corgos. Next, I will show you, I'll show you this real quick. This is just what I wore to Disney. You will have seen it before this portion of the video, or before this video, deciding on if I decide to put everything in separate videos or all together. I don't know. Then we got Dawn a Starbucks mug. We were supposed to get her a Disney Japan one, but we couldn't find any. So we got this one, because I haven't seen this one before, so I know she doesn't have it. And it has sunflowers on it, which is her favorite. Yeah. I'm still, I still feel really bad that it's not a Disney one, but we tried. Alright, next. <clears throat> so there's a bunch of, what are they called? Like the machines? I don't know. Oh, it has an actual name? I don't know. The little machines where you put in... Yes, where you put in like a hundred yen and then you just twist it and something comes out, you don't pick it. It's just one of the various toys that you can get. So I think all of these are gifts for people. This one is a cat hat <laughs> and it's a pineapple. It's for Adam's brother, his brother's cat. And then... I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know what this one is. It has a Shiba. Oh, Shiba her oh, this one is the Shiba with the skateboard. This one's for Bobo because we asked. We like tweeted, we're in Japan, what do you guys want? And then Bobo said, a Shiba. So here's your Shiba. <laughs> and then this one, I think. Who is this for? Who's the Kirby for? Any for me. <laughs> oh, okay. So we got a Kirby. I think he like looks a certain way. I think he's like wearing. Oh, he's a Area Fifty One Kirby. Yeah. Mm, he's a UFO. Mm-hmm. He has a he's a UFO. September. What's the date for Area Fifty One? September twenty second. I think it's twenty. Oh, twentieth. Whatever. All right. We have a lot more to go. So next, um, I'm just gonna grab things. So I got this today at the Senso G <laughs> Senso G Temple. It's a cute toy. I don't know how to explain it, but it's so cool if you have seen this before. I have never seen this before today, and I bought this for Jordan because I feel like it's like a fidget spinner type or like kendama type of thing where it just keeps you busy and mem mesmerized. And I think he'd like it, and I also wanted to buy him a gift, so I found one. We went to this uh, stationery store. I think we were in Akihabara. And we found a bunch of hedgy things and dog things. So all three of these at once. We got a hedgehog calendar. So it's just a stack of like cards on this stand. So you sit it like that. Uh, and then as a month passes by, you just take a card out. So each month is a card. And each card is like a different color of that animal. So like for the corgis, there's reds and there's tries. It's so cute. This one is also for Zuzu and Aunt Jennifer. It's not for us. The court, the hedgy one is for us. And then the hedgy stickers are for us as well. Cute. We just jump on anything that has hedgies on them because it's so rare. I feel there's a lot of corgi things or Shiba things here and surprisingly people love hedgehogs here. And there's so many like hedgehog cafes and stuff so took advantage and bought everything that had hedgehogs on it. At that stationery store, there was also like a little makeup and skincare section. So I bought this pack of seven face masks for, I think, I think it was only like five dollars. So I'm super excited. I didn't read, like I can't even read what it is, what kind of mask it is. But I'm sure it's gonna smell good and feel good. I don't care. It's five dollars for seven. Okay. 
Okay, this one is from Akihabara. It's a giant mouse pad, mouse and keyboard pad. Is it? It's a it's. A or is a mat? mat? It's a play mat. For, yeah. For like card games, but I, you can you can use it as a mouse pad. Oh, okay. That's what I'll use. It. Yes, that, and it is of this design. It's very cute. It's very cheap too. Everything here is pretty inexpensive, which is how we ended up with this pile of stuff. Next are a few funny stories. I'll start with the baby duck. So we found ourselves in various Sega arcades, losing a bunch of money very fast, trying to win anything from any claw machine. So we decided to go to this tiny claw machine that had like a million tiny ducks see how small this is and we all you have to do is knock over as many as you can and we just won one <laughs> we suck and then he found a machine that had a little shitan sheet shitan yes and he won it i don't think it took you too long either mm, i think second try yeah two tries nice this one we didn't win i bought this uh, I think I bought it in Super Potato. No, I didn't buy anything in Super Potato. I bought this in one of those stores that had a bunch of anime stuff and video game stuff. So it's just, you, you like put it all together and it looks like that. And this is for Bernice because she wanted something Pokemon related. This one, we were really desperate to win anything from a claw game. So we found a machine that had this towel. And we won it. <laughs> I don't think it took us too long either. I don't even know what. Okay, so it's from the school idol movie Over the Rainbow. We don't know, but we won. We were just happy to win something that was bigger than this. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, almost done. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff. Alright. On to this awesome thing as soon as we got to japan i was holding like my wallet in my hand and my phone and my camera and i didn't want to put anything in my pockets because i didn't want anything to get stolen or fall out so while we were in harajuku we went into like some streetwear store some like japanese urban outfitters looking store and i got this dickies uh I don't know, uh, body, no, not body bag. It's like cross body bag, fanny pack style looking thing. And I just, I love it. I just like how simple it is in the color. Um, move on to this. So Adam was on the hunt for a bunch of magic cards. So he got these in Akihabara. Tell me something about these cards. They're just in Japanese. Oh, yeah. So these, these in America, like, some, some they of would, them could be worth a lot of money. Yeah. All right. So all of these are in, in Japanese, which is why he got all of them. And they are of higher value in the States. That's pretty cool. They had a lot of magic cards in Akihabara. Next, we got some more souvenirs for people. This cute little Japan magnet? Yeah, magnet with a geisha <laughs> on it. I think it's a geisha. And two postcards. One is just of Tokyo, and then this one is of Akihabara. Because that's where we bought them. Oh, and then we also visited the Pom Pom Purin Cafe in Harajuku and it I think these came with our experience it's just postcards they just gave them to us I think they were just on the table when we got there so we kept those so cute we love Pom Pom Purin we have the same I have the same birthday as him <laughs> last but not least I think yes we went to a maid cafe in Akihabara called At Home Cafe. It was kind of pricey, but 
the whole experience was really cute and fun and wholesome. So they were celebrating their 15th year anniversary. So they gave us these like coasters or prints, I guess, of their premium maids. And then they also gave us these like membership or reward cards and they wrote our names on it in katakana. And then that's the name of our maid that we had. Rie. Rie? Yeah. Um, so cute. So Adam's card says my master. <laughs> and then mine says my princess. So I was a princess. <laughs> and in here are the photos that we got to take with a maid of our choice. So funny, so I'll show you close up. This is Adam's picture, so cute. He's wearing little, um, little ears too. I love it, it's so funny. And then here's me with my girl. And I got bunny ears. Yeah! And I think that's everything that we bought. There's probably going to be more that I bought when we hit the airport tomorrow. But, yeah, we had so much fun. And I think for the entire week we didn't even spend a thousand dollars on everything. Like including Disneyland. All the awesome food that we had, transit, souvenirs, and everything. Like, it was all really cheap. So, definitely recommend. I think the most expensive part about Japan is just getting here, but it's so worth it. Like,